Hi everyone, I'm back with a new video tutorial about how to update the operating system on a Samsung tablet. Uh, specifically for this model, uh, as you can see here, apps like YouTube can no longer be updated and it recommends opening them in a browser. I'm going to perform this procedure for a specific model, which let me show you which one it is. It's for a Samsung Tab S, sm t 7 o 5M, which as you can see uses Android version 6 and uh, from this version onwards we can no longer uh, do updates through the standard method. The process is very similar to my previous video where I explain each step in more detail. Uh, remember we must be especially careful during this process and uh, follow it step by step otherwise you could leave your device unusable. Let's start by turning off the device. Uh, press and hold the power button and select power off then we're going to connect the usb cable uh, of the tablet from the tablet to our computer make sure that you see the charging icon on the screen as in my case the first step is to configure the tablet in download mode uh, to do this we're going to use the key combination volume down power button and home button press and hold these three Three keys simultaneously keep holding down these keys until you see the warning screen like mine and we're going to enter to the download mode by pressing the volume up key as the message of the screen says and uh, you'll see that the screen now changes to download mode as indicated by the android icon and uh, now let me show you the files we're going to use the first is odin3 which is the tool we will use to install the costume recovery the tablet. Next we have TWRP which stands for Team Wind Recovery Project. It's the custom recovery that we're going to download to the tablet using Odin. Then we have Lineage OS version 17.1. This is the new operative system we're going to install. It's based on Android and you probably check in the name that is the word unofficial which means it's not an official build. Instead this is a community independent uh, version which is not necessarily bad but it's always a good idea to research the source of this kind of versions. In my case I've seen that uh, this is a stable version and uh, so far I haven't had any problems but I'm going to leave this source where I got this version in the description along with the download link so you will be available to check the documentation and uh, finally we have the open gaps file which is a package to install google apps on the device because lineage by default does it includes uh, google apps and services like play store gmail maps etc the only file you're going to unzip once you download everything from the link is odin once uh, Odin is unzipped, go to the folder and click on its executable file. It will open its initial window. Just click on OK. Let me move this new window so we can see it more clearly. If the communication between the PC and the tablet is correct, you're going to see this blue box and uh, inside of it, the connection port. This means we're ready to install the recovery app. If not, you can disconnect the USB cable from the tablet and uh, reconnect it again. You should then see the blue box activated and uh, with the port number inside of it. In my case, I'm using Windows 11 and uh, I didn't have to install any drivers for the tablet. So it seems this version of Windows doesn't have connectivity issues with these devices. But if you still have connection problems, you can watch my previous video where we did the same procedure, but for another model. Otherwise, with the tablet model, you can download it directly from the Samsung site. All right, let's continue. Go to the option tab and deselect the auto rebook options since we're going to do it manually. Then we're going to load the recovery using the second button labeled as AP. Click on it and it will open the file explorer and uh, what we need to do is to select the TWRP recovery file. We're going to select it but from the explorer window that the AP button opened 
select it and click on start. This process doesn't take too long and uh, if it's successful you'll see at the top a green box indicating that the file was successfully transferred. We can now close this program and uh, now what follows is to put the tablet into recovery mode. First, we're going to exit from the download mode using the same keys, power button, volume down and the home button without disconnecting the USB cable. So press and hold these three keys simultaneously and uh, once the screen turns off, release the keys and uh, you'll see the charging icon appear again. Now we can disconnect the USB cable and we're going to configure the tablet in recovery mode. The process is similar, only one of the keys will change. This time we're going to use power button, volume up and home button. That's it. Press and hold these three keys at the same time. Keep them pressed down, don't release them until you see the application called Tingwin on the screen. That's it, this one here. And now we can continue with the next step of the process. Something important that I recommend, just like in my previous video, is to make a backup of your files. Basically, you do it from this option called backup. Select the files you want to backup. Some of them are already selected, but you can also select any other file that you want. And from select storage button, you want to select your SD card where the backup will be stored. That's all. Let's go back and the first things we're going to do is to wipe the partition to install the operated system. You are going to do this by sliding this button at the top from the left to the right. Once done, we go back to the previous menu and select the reboot option from this button and uh, you'll see a new window with several reboot options. But before continuing, we need to have the operated system and the store files on our SD card. So let me remove my SD card from the tablet to copy there the files that we need. Okay, that's all. Let's connect this to our computer and let's go back to our list of files. Mm -hmm. That's better. Okay, from the list, um, we're going to copy the file lineage 17.1 and uh, also open gaps. So select those files and right click to copy and paste them onto the HD card. This process may take some time depending on the speed of the memory or even uh, how fast is your computer. But uh, once copied, we're going to safely remove the memory from the computer and uh, install it back into the tablet. There is no need to turn off your tablet. You can reinstall the HD card uh, while the tablet is turning on. All right, that's all. Let's go back to our recovery app. Normally the screen locks after a certain time, but let's slide this button to unlock it. And now we're going to select the recovery option. The system will reboot, but it will enter in recovery mode again. Here it is. Now we select install and we can already see the files we transferred to the memory here. You can also click on the select storage button to locate the SD card if you don't see them. All right, the first file we're going to install is the operated system lineage 17.1. Click on it and slide the bottom button to begin the installation. This process can also take some time due to the size of the file we are installing. But when it finishes, we're going to go back to the previous screen and select the second file called open gaps click on it and uh, again slide to start the installation this will take less time since it's a smaller file once the files are installed we can now restart the device we click on reboot system and uh, you will see in a moment our tablet has already changed and it's now starting up with the lineage separated system. Let's give it a moment while the restarting process finishes and uh, also you can see now that the UI has changed as well. Let's take a closer look at the graphical interface and also let's configure the system. Let's click on start. It's going to ask 
to configure a network, I'll configure mine. After this, it will ask if we want to restore the information linked to our Google account. I'll say no for now. Next, we need to enter our Google account to link it to the device and also to the App Store, similar to any Android device. Then it asks us to set a pin or a security pattern. I will set up a simple one for now. And uh, finally, I'm going to select this review apps option. So it takes me directly to the app store. Again, I'll say I don't want to perform any backup for now. And that's it. Our tablet is now up and running again with this new version of Lineage OS. Now let's go to the store and install any app. In fact, let's search for the YouTube app since we saw at the beginning of the video that uh, it no longer worked in the previous Android version. Let's click on the install button and also you can see above a list of uh, other apps that are compatible with this new lineage version. You see now that uh, we have more apps available. Okay, let's uh, open YouTube app and uh, let's open also any video so you can see that now it place without problems. All right, that's it. Uh, don't forget in the video's description, you will find the download link for the files and uh, also the source where I got this lineage version so you can try it. And also in case I found another version compatible with this model, uh, I'll be added to the repository along with the rest of the files. Please leave your question as well and uh, I'll see you soon in another video.